Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny, episode number... Number 90, uh, 690, I'm sorry, 690, yeah, we're, uh, yeah, we're doing it, no, keep doing it, um, nothing new here, just, uh, I got blisters on my fingers, and I got a blister here from, uh, fucking... Weed eating the lawn yesterday, just a little bit. I didn't even weed eat it a lot, but it was just so hot, and uh, I'm also like really overweight. So doing any sort of physical activity t- tuckers me out so badly. And uh yeah, no, I uh just weed eat it a little bit. Also, like the line I bought, I bought it off Amazon. Um, uh, it's it's like the line that's already pre-cut. So it like wears out really quickly. So um, I just constantly be changing it constantly. And I don't know. I try to get like a good edge, a uh, good edge up on the lawn. I'm very um, not meticulous, but I do like a good edge on the lawn. And I don't know. I just go through a lot of lines. So I'll probably weed eat a little bit more. I don't know about today. Today's fucking hot. And I got a little bit of schoolwork to do, but. Yeah, just, eh, just, you know, <laughs> at some point during the week, I'll weed eat some more. But yeah, no, that's, that's everything that's been really going on here. Otherwise, uh, uh, it's been chill, I think. And I've been having meetings with my doctor and, uh, he thinks he, he, I, I think my doc, well, this new doctor, I think he thinks I'm like, uh, wanting to hurt myself but i'm not you know like <laughs> he's like he's convinced he's like you know uh, you're so depressed i think you you know you don't want to tell me but you want to hurt yourself and i was like no um i go it's not that i don't uh it's more like i, I don't want to exist more than i don't i want to hurt myself and he's all see see i told you i was like whoa 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 that's not the same like don't don't start writing in your notebook there that I won't want to hurt myself. <laughs> That's not like the same as I'm, I'm tired of existing. Those are two, like maybe they're on the same you know uh, uh, neighborhood, but they're two completely different streets. You know, like whoa whoa whoa, slow down there. You know, it, and then you just got to be careful what you say, to doctors, because you don't want to get committed or anything like that. Which like I, I feel like I. Uh, said all the right things i typically do but <laughs> i don't know let's look at the news here right uh let's see uh oh the philippines first olympic gold medalist at paris carlos yulo will receive the following for winning and this is on twitter news right a lifetime of free colonoscopies at 45 years old uh two a furnished condo three a house four over 200 thousand dollars in cash five uh, iphone 16 six free cookies from life from the local bakery seven free food from life from multiple local restaurants eight a free engineering education and he looks pretty happy for getting the gold medal right i mean who wouldn't be um let's look at let's look at a list of uh the things that he uh is winning here uh first free a lifetime of free colonoscopies right so you don't have to get that many in life. I would say you would need, of course, after a certain age, you need them more frequently. But when they say a lifetime of colonoscopies, I would say he'd, he'd probably need maybe one every, what, four years, maybe? Just to check, you know, just to get everything going out of there, you know, whatever's bad. So that doesn't sound like a lot. That If he ends up living to be like 90, that's... That's like 10 of them, <laughs> you know, I, and then if he had insurance, it would cover it. So I don't see why that's a big deal. The lifetime of colonoscopy is a furnished condo and a furnished house sound really nice. That sounds pretty expensive. 200K in cash. That sounds like a lot, but uh, after taxes, if they're going to make them pay taxes and uh, I don't know if Philippines do taxes, right? But um 200k in cash you can blow through that real quick an iphone 16 that comes in handy but it's uh you could buy it with 200k in cash but that's pretty nice of them 
for throwing that in. Free cookies from life from local bakery. That's a pretty big deal. That's like, I don't know, like the free food for multiple restaurants and free local bakery. Those are pretty big, big deals because that can like feed, that could literally like, you don't have to pay for groceries anymore. You could just go out to eat at these restaurants. And then whenever you're wanting like a nice carb treat, uh, eat uh, some cookies. Hopefully they're good. I mean, even if they're mid tier, uh, that'd be cool. Like, it would still be pretty good. So I'm I'm down with that. And then a free engineering education, like that's that's priceless. <laughs> education is priceless. Law, like that's pretty good too. Like, those are the kind of things that I think would cost a lot of money to actually, you know, do. And um, that's pretty cool that he. Uh, has those incentives for him now that he's won a gold medal. Considering that Olympians don't really get paid for competing, it's more out of the heart and goodness. Uh, so when you train, you lose, it sucks because it's a lot of time, money, heart, effort spent. But when you win, shit like this happens and you're like, oh, okay, cool. Like this was worth it. This was worth it. Um, Let's check the next thing on the news here. Uh, this is from IGN.com or IGN on Twitter. Uh, Larry and Studios revealed that of the 658,000 Baldur's Gate 3 players who had sex with the Druid Halson, 30% chose to get down with his grizzly bear form. Learn more here, including how many players were turned into a wheel of cheese. So the headline is nearly 200,000 player, Baldur's players. Baldur's Gate three players fuck the bear, and um, I'm I'm starting to wonder what what this what happens in this game when you fuck a bear or when you get turned into a piece of cheese because or a wheel of cheese because I know I've played Mass Effect. I'm replaying Mass Effect right now. I love it. It it's I'm on the first one just because um, I'm playing on insanity difficulty, so it's fucking hard. But I want to try to beat all three of them on sanity, but. I know you could romance like the human female, the human male, and then the alien female male type, you know, uh, androgynous creature, but she has tits and, but maybe her penis is in her head or whatever. But like you can romance, you know, aliens in that game too. I know when you head to Mass Effect 2, you could romance even more aliens. So here, when you can romance uh, some sort of, what was it? a druid that turns into a bear and then have sex with his bear figure. I just wonder what players are into, but you know, take it to, or give it to the players of Baldur's Gate three and video gamers for trying to find everything that you could find in a video game. Cause I know I've been there with mass effect. So, uh, it, it doesn't like make me sick or I'm not against this. I just wonder what, what is up with this game if you can do that you know what i mean because i'm like that's that's interesting that's that's kind of cool you could have sex with a bear <laughs> yeah next year on the news <clears throat> warner brothers discovery just revealed that its tv networks are worth 9.1 billion less than they originally thought this means that they've had a net loss of 10 billion in quarter two 2024 a loss of 10 billion dollars that's like Ukraine money right there. Like, how do you not like like realize it at the one billion or two billion mark? Like, dude, we're losing money. Like, we're hemorrhaging. Like, how do you not like notice that earlier before it hits ten billion? You know what I mean? Ten billion dollars. Lifestyles of the rich and the famous. Um, I don't know. I I, I just don't understand how you let this happen like i i hope i know there's a lot of layoffs and they're bad but i hope someone gets fired for this you know because it's that's i don't know that's pretty bad uh i don't i don't know i hope warner brothers um obviously stays alive because i love the looney tunes or whatever else what are the properties they might have but um batman do they do they have dc i don't know maybe but um, I don't know. Maybe they just need to sell off their shit to another streaming company and 
they have it there unless it's already like that i don't fucking know i don't i don't i don't really keep up with this i'm just seeing this news and i'm like that's a lot of money like i'm here like here i'm here showing you all over here my donation links for buy me a coffee venmo <laughs> paypal and uh fucking cash app you know like that's a lot of money 10 billion dollars and it's just like oh well oopsies you know uh and i'm here trying to buy a dozen eggs for four bucks where i'm like man that's expensive because it is a dozen eggs for four dollars is expensive who the fuck made that price right you know who made it normal it's not normal a dozen eggs shouldn't be anything but like a dollar 98 maybe 250 at the most but fuck you warner brothers for screwing with inflation losing 10 billion dollars but I like the Looney Tunes. The Looney Tunes are good. You fucking maroons. Okay, I thought I heard something. Lastly, here on the news, ISIS is reportedly ISIS reportedly planned a terrorist attack on a Taylor Swift concert in Austria. Austria. The attempt was thwarted after two men were arrested in Vienna. Um, no, I'm I'm glad that this didn't happen. Obviously, I'm glad that this didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> any sort of terrorist attack was planned on a Taylor Swift concert and then thwarted. I love that word thwarted. That's good. That's a good thing. I, I, not that I would go to a Taylor Swift concert. Not that I don't even know if people would even notice if an attack happened at a Taylor Swift concert because they're so jam packed. Uh, I know like in Brazil, like someone died from heat exhaust exhaustion, I think from a Taylor Swift concert because it was so freaking hot. It's so freaking hot. Oh, my God. Um, And then they, I know they had reports. You remember when they were saying that there was memory loss where people would forget that they were at a Taylor Swift concert? Like, I know I had a good time. I just don't remember. And then they'd look at the videos on their phones and be like, oh, shit, I, I did go to a Taylor Swift concert. But that's the government for you. And uh, um, I'm glad... This was thwarted. Um, all these things are going down in the like European type countries where uh, it feels like there are more immigrants. Hold on, <clears throat> let me take a drink. <clears throat> when I say immigrants, I go, <laughs> that's why that's what. Oh, that's that's what I say with immigrants. But no, I'm glad it was thwarted. I'm glad Taylor Swift and her fans are safe. I um I don't know if Taylor Swift deserves the fame. Nah, I don't know. I think she does with, with the baby face heel turn or the baby face heel turn of Kanye West and her at the MTV um awards years ago. So yeah, I think she deserves it. Um, not that she writes the best music anymore but she knows how to perform she knows how to market i just hate that she's um doing this whole vote for whatever whatever you know and showing her political stand when she should just be an entertainer i think you know especially with how powerful she is and uh the money she generates you know um but at least she's not mr beast holding like uh well you, you never know Maybe she, maybe she's, she seems nice, right? And she's tall, uh, she's skinny, she can't dance because she's white, but she's very um, marketable. And uh, I'm just glad uh, everyone's safe from terrorist attacks. I'm glad that didn't go down, even if it's not in our country. So people wouldn't really care uh, unless it happens in America. You know, we don't really care. Uh, I care. But Americans don't care, you know, because I, I like to uh, read the news, see the news, and I don't like those things happening. But, you know, um, besides all that, I guess um, all we could say is uh, that's all funny, guys. I want to thank you for listening to the podcast. That's all funny. The Boy Network podcast. That's all funny. The podcast my buddy gave. We're talking about wrestling. Check it out. Okay, Dave. Uh, every Monday, we've got a home podcast. Uh, thank you. Uh, every Tuesday, do a show with a wonderful mint salad called Tits and Areolas. We're talking about a movie watch, play a little game that's on its own podcast. Check out Tits and Areolas with a mint salad. If you want to see a live show of it, uh, check out the YouTube channel or uh, my ex feed 
uh, at Lorenzo Ariola or my YouTube at uh, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. Uh, you can watch it live, like I said, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, Tits and Ariola's Lemon Salad on uh, Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, live. Um, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola for, uh, you know, bonus bonus stuff, early episodes, delete episodes, add free episodes. Check that out. Uh, hit me up on Lorenzo Ariola at Lorenzo Ariola on Twitter and Instagram if you want any merch, t-shirts, prints, stickers, or if you want to send me some stuff on there at Lorenzo Ariola. If you want to hit the, hit up the guy who does all the art for the show uh, at Retro Horror Inc. on Twitter and Instagram. That's at Retro Horror Inc. Um, I'm going to thank my Patreon subscribers. Thank you to everyone else for listening, liking, sharing, subscribing. Take care. Thank you. Bye.